Alright, hi people, it is Shakes here, and I'm here to do my review of the SH Figure Arts for Vol Eagle from Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan. Uh, so yeah. So, after many, many weeks of this being backordered on Amazon, finally have it. So, let's get to the box first. Um, on the front, Vol Eagle written like there, or right there, SH Figure Arts right there. Picture of Vol Eagle right there with the outline of the sun, I presume. The Sun Vulcan logo right there. But yeah. So, yeah, on that side, pretty much nothing is going on. On this side, you have a pic a nice, another picture of um, Full Eagle. So, yeah, so on the back, you have three poses you can get Full Eagle into with his sword, uh, his roll call pose, I think. And that the um, helmet adjusting thing that they did. You ever see um, the last, second to last episode of Power Rangers Super Mega Force? That's why um, Troy does that when he transforms into uh, Mighty Morphin Red. Is because uh, they had to replace Vol Eagle footage, and for some reason they thought to um, they th really thought to uh, mimic the Sun Vulcan. Helmet adjusting, which is stupid. Well, Super Mac Force was stupid. So yeah, so before we get to the figure, let's look over the parts he comes with. Um, you get a very nice assortment of hands. I have the fist hands in this, because I put two posing hands on that. You see where it holds a sword in the f figure, and then a another a different sword. I haven't seen some of Vulcans, I'm not too sure. And the sword would be in his holster, it is in his holster, so I'll show you that in a minute. And more hands. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let me... Okay, sorry about that. Just had to get this out. It actually looks like uh, one of the 70s or 80s era Doctor Who Sonic screwdrivers, doesn't it? Kind of does. I really wish that SH Figure Arts would get the license to make some Doctor Who figures because I would love a, an SH Figure Arts Doctor Who 10th, 11th Doctors, um, maybe the 4th. Hell, I'd probably get all of them if they released them. You know. But yeah. So basically... As I said, you just put it into his holster right there um, when he's on display without the extended version of the sword. So now onto the figure. Uh, really, really good detail as always with this figure arts. They um they really do a good job capturing the likeness of the suits and everything from the shows and whatever else they were featured in. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so... Basically, there's some um, standard SH Figure Arts movement with it. I, I've been forgetting to say that in the last few SH Figure Arts reviews. Um, I don't really want to move him, but you just know that uh, 360 on both arms, uh, 360 on the head, although it's slightly hindered by his uh, by the back of the scarf, um, 360 on his hands because it, they're all in ball joints essentially. Uh, double joint on his elbows, um, uh, so yeah, and then a uh, double joint on his knee, single joint, so you can do a, a split, so you can do a split with, uh, his legs, 360 on the, um, feet, and a toe joint, as you can probably see there, yeah, toe joint, um, so, yeah, and overall the figure just looks really good. Um, I I think Dawson Ryder has a problem with it. I really don't. I think it's it's a good figure, and if you're if you like Sun Vulcan or if you like the suit at least, um, or if you've seen Go I I'd recommend it to anyone to pick it up. Uh, you can order from Amazon. I really like that 
Amazon is importing the Japanese versions of these since they were adapted into Power Rangers, we're not gonna most likely get uh, SH Figure Arts or Power Rangers versions of the SH Figure Arts, you know, so um, at least from pre G Ranger and Die Ranger, so minus uh, Kiba Ranger has already came out. Um, so, yeah, so, um, I guess not much else I can say. I'd recommend it to everyone. And if you like Sentai, if you like Sun Vulcan, or if you just like the suit in general, I'd, I'd recommend it. Uh, these Sessions figure arts are really good version, really good action figures. They have great molds most of the time, and, um, they're pretty much the ultimate action figure, especially if you want to do, like, uh, what is it, um, uh, stop motion films with these. I think that, I think these figures are perfect for that, like adult chicken style, or no, not adult chicken, robot chicken style, like that kind of animation. So yeah, um, so yeah, so not much else I can say, so comment, rate, subscribe, go to my channel, go to my second channel, follow me on Twitter, link is in the description, support me on Patreon if you want, link is in the description of that, and I'll talk to you guys more later.